Hello everyone, let's shift our attention towards our another project again. I'm taking this circular chair party and now I'm going to make some of the lines over this that is somewhat square shaped. And after that, you just have to place them towards the inner portion with the help of these chopsticks. You can just pause the video so that you don't get confused at any particular step. If we will talk about the difficulty level of this type of the activity, then this one is medium difficult. You may require a comb. Some of the dates also for this type of the activity chopstick is required some knives as well just roll this date over the stripe that we have created using the patterns of the comb you just have to place it over the center it looks so nice and beautiful Let's move towards our another activity. First, I'm taking the circular dough and then with the help of the comb, I'm making some of the patterns over it that are apparent on your screens. Now, you just have to make some of the cuts. For making some of the cuts, I'm making use of the knife. Now, with the help of my hand, I'm just going to give them a perfect look of the petal type shape. This looks so perfect and nice. Now, take the another dough that's also circular and make the some of the imprints using the comb. Once you are done with it, see how I am just going to make some of the cuts using the knife and again with the help of my hand i'm just giving the perfect look to the petals keep in mind that this one dough is somewhat smaller in size than the earlier one so that you can place it over the bigger dough and in between i'm going to place this date Let's take the four strips that we have created using the clay and with the help of the comb, make some of the dotty patterns over them. Once you are done with it, you just have to roll these dotty patterns from the uh, back sides or we can say from the ends and in between we are going to place some of the dates. Just squeeze them together with the help of a chopstick. Now take these five smaller chapatis and pile them one after the another and you can squeeze them in between. Just roll them and then you have to cut it them just between the center. These will represent some what rose shaped petals and it's time to place them over one after the other and this one looks so good and nice let's move our attention towards our another activity again i'm taking the circular dough and just i'm folding it you can just stop the video then you can replay it again or you can just minimize the speed of this video so that you don't get confused at any particular step and you will try to follow it in a similar manner like here we are doing you may require a knife for making the patterns but be careful while you're making use of the knife then you just have to squeeze all the individual petals together and then place them in between like here shown on your screens and we just have to beautify or add something fascinating at the center so that it will look so beautiful and perfect for that i'm taking this dough and placing at the center with the d let's move towards our another activity again i'm taking the circular chapati making some of the lines once you are done with this you may require a knife for making these lines just see here how i am going to fold them towards the inner portion and i'm going to pull them towards the outer one these will represent the patterns and the different beautiful look if we will talk about the difficulty level then this one is medium difficult and it's best suitable for the kids between the age group of 12 to 13 you just have to make the more patterns and for that i am making use of the comb knife and my hands this one is very easy and nice you just have to be careful while you are making the patterns thank you for watching our videos it looks so pretty at the end